Hi all. Kubernetes, as we all know, is an open source system for deployment and management of containerized applications. Google created it and they open sourced it later. Today, all major cloud providers have their own managed Kubernetes services. For example, Azure has AKS, Azure Kubernetes Service. AWS has EKS, Elastic Kubernetes Service. Google Kubernetes Engine, GKE, and every other cloud provider has their own managed Kubernetes service. In this video, I will show you the creation of a simple Kubernetes cluster using the COPS tool or Kubernetes Operations CLI tool. Remember, I am not using EKS, which is the managed Kubernetes service from AWS. Instead, I am using AWS EC2s as server platforms on top of which I am going to create the Kubernetes cluster. I have created another video where I have used AWS EKS to launch Kubernetes cluster. I will give the link in the description. As I said, we will use the COPS tool to issue the various commands to navigate through the various stages of Kubernetes cluster creation. And once the cluster is ready, we will install a simple game application, which is the 2048 game. And of course, we can play that game as well. In the video description down, I will give the link, basically the cheat sheet, which gives you all the commands which I have used while doing this particular exercise. So it will help you to do that exercise yourself. Okay, let's begin by launching an Ubuntu server from where we'll be issuing the various COPS commands. Okay, so as the first step, let us launch an Ubuntu EC2 instance. Go to EC2 console, click on EC2, click on launch instance, can give the name as kubernetes102 any name is okay come down select ubuntu the latest ami of ubuntu that is fine instance type t2 micro is fine key pair you can use any of the key pairs which you have already created if you haven't created click on create new key pair and create a new one network settings this particular ec2 just need to have ssh connectivity so you can go with the default one create security group, allow SSH traffic. That is sufficient. However, if you want to provide HTTP access as well, select HTTP as well and proceed. Come down and click on launch instance. So this will take some time. So let's wait till Kubernetes 102 is up and running. So we have got our EC2 instance up and running, Kubernetes 102. Select that instance and click on connect. Go to SSH client. And you have to get this connection string and open a command prompt if you are running windows or if you are running mac os you can open a terminal copy this connection string and open your terminal and paste the connection string from downloads folder go to downloads you are logging into your ec2 machine Okay, I have already logged in. Now it uses the private IP address as the hostname. Let us change that. For that, you can issue this command sudo hostname control set hostname kubernetes102. So when you issue that command, the name will not change. What you can do is you can just exit once and come back once again. You can see that the hostname has changed. As the next step, we need to install a few utilities into this EC2 machine. Some of them are nano editor, curl, wget, AWS CLI, etc. Let us do that. Before that, you need to update the apt repository. sudo apt update. Once this is done, we have to issue the command for installing the utilities. sudo apt install nano curl wget aws cli and you can give the confirmation minus y now as the next step we need to install kubectl or kube control and cops or kubernetes operations tools and apart from that we also need to configure our credentials and we need to create and set up an s3 bucket for storing the state information for the cluster etc Instead of doing that using commands one by one, we will create a shell script. So let us create that shell script now. vi install corps tool dot sh. That is the name of the file. Enter. And I will include this shell script in my cheat sheet. And the link to the cheat sheet will be available 
in the description of this video. For the time being, let me copy that file. Okay, I have copied that file. Before I execute it, I will go through some of the important lines. So initially it is setting up the credentials by asking you to enter your AWS access key and secret key. Then you have to enter a cluster name in this particular format, what is shown here. Then you have to specify in which availability zone you are going to set up the cluster. And once all those inputs are provided, it will download and install kubectl first or kube control, which will be followed by the installation of COPS utility as you can see here. It is downloading the COPS binary and it is getting moved into the binary path. Then when you are creating the cluster, you need to create an SSH key so that the master can communicate with the cluster nodes. For that you need to create a SSH key using SSH key gen utility. In the next step we are creating an S3 bucket. This S3 bucket will be used by COPS tool to save all the clusters state information. So you can see that here and here COPS create cluster. So this command what it does is it actually creates a configuration for your COPS cluster. It doesn't actually create it but it just creates a configuration. And how many nodes you want the worker nodes. Here I have chosen two and it is asking for the master size, your COPS cluster master, whether it should be T2 micro or T2 medium or T3 medium. I have chosen T3 medium. It is asking the preferred instance type of your worker node. That also we have specified it as T3 medium. And you have to specify the volume, the EBS volume size, then which availability zone and the cluster name. Then COPS update cluster. This is the command which will actually create the cluster. And then an environment variable called COPS state store is updated with the, the S3 URI. And this S3 is the bucket which we just created where we are going to store all the cluster state information. You can save quit and you have to execute it. First you have to give the execute permission. For that you can say chmod plus x install tab. Now you can execute it by this command bash install tab. When you execute it, it will ask you to enter the access key, secret access key, etc. Let us see how it goes. Okay, it is asking for the access key. I am going to copy it from another file and I am going to change this access key and secret access key. So even if you type this access key and secret access key, you will not be able to log into my account. Then it is asking for a cluster name. I am going to give the cluster name as cube102.k8s.local. It is asking for the availability zone. I am going to use US East 1A. Now it has started processing. Every step of that shell script is getting executed. Let us wait till it completes it. Okay, it has created the cluster successfully. The next step is to create the ports and the service on top of this cluster. But before that, we need to do a few more steps. For example, the environment variable corp state store that has to be updated. And then let's issue the command corps get cluster to see if the cluster is created. There was a small mistake in the cluster name which I provided. So I am correcting it here. Let me enter this export command once again. Then repeat the corps get cluster command. You can see the name of the cluster. Now we need to validate the cluster if the creation has been completed or not. Usually it takes up to 10 minutes or maybe more. So initially you will get errors when you issue that particular command. Let us see which is that command. First you have to download the cube config into your dot cube slash config file. So COPS has set your kubectl context to this particular cluster. Now let's validate this cluster. COPS validate cluster. You just need to say cluster because by default it will take the cluster you have created. If it gives error, you don't need to worry. Okay, it has already completed. That is good. The next step is to create the ports and services on top of this so that we can run the application and test the Kubernetes cluster and Kubernetes application. So our cluster is ready. You can go to the EC2 console and check it once. So go there, go to EC2 console, click on instances and look at the number of EC2 instances which are running. This cube 14 is an old one which I had created. Let me delete that. You can see that there are four EC2 instances. This is the base platform EC2 instance which I created, I launched. 
and the rest three one is a master and two are worker nodes you can see that all three of them are t3 medium so the cluster is ready now let's launch the game application onto this kubernetes cluster so for that we need to create the ports and the services let's do that let me go back to the terminal first step is to create a pod using yaml let me create the yaml configuration file for creating the pod the file name is 2048pod.yaml again i'm copy pasting this content from another file i'll provide this file as part of the cheat sheet okay i can save quit i have created the configuration file for creating a pod now let me apply this configuration file you have to issue the command cube cutl apply minus f you have to give the file name 2048pod.yaml so it has created the pod once again we can go through the contents of this file you can see that this configuration file actually creates a container from the image black ice bird/2048 this image is available in docker hub and it corresponds to a simple game called 2048 game we'll see how that game looks once it is ready i have already applied this and i have created the pod next step is to create a service which will be an abstraction on top of the pod before that if you want to see all the ports you can issue this command cube cutl get ports you can see that one pod is running and it is ready now let's create the service the file name is game service.yaml again i'm going to copy the contents so basically it is creating a service on top of that pod and here the application name is specified which belongs to the pod we just created and it is creating the mapping between the host port 80 to the container port 80 basically with this configuration file we are creating a load balancer service so that i can use this load balancer dns name to access my application the file is ready you have to apply this file for that you can issue this command cube cutl apply minus f then the file name though it says it is created it will take some time before your load balancer is ready you can issue the describe kubectl describe command to see the details of the service which is created so it is still getting created it may take some time in the meantime you can go to the ec2 dashboard and look at the load balancer which is created we are in ec2 console come down click on the load balancers and open it in a new tab you can see one is for the cluster another one is for the service this is for the cluster and this is for the service let us click on this here in the status it should say two of two instances in service because we have two instances and that process will take some time a couple of minutes it may take only once those instances are in service we can click on that and access the game let me stop here and i will come back once the instances are in service so you can see that both the instances are in service so which means that our application is successfully installed and it is running so how do i access this particular game for that just copy this dns name copy and go to another tab and paste it here you can see the game and you can play the game if you want to let me try to play the game for a couple of minutes so i'm not an expert in this okay enough of playing the game now let's clean it up whatever we have created because we have created t3 medium it is not a free service so we'll have to pay for it it is very nominal amount very small amount but still it is better to delete the cluster as early as possible once you complete your exercise so let's do that with one command so you are back at the terminal now clear and issue this command cube cutl delete minus f game service dot yaml similarly you can issue the command cube cutl delete minus f 2048 port dot yaml now let's delete the cluster for that you can issue this command corpse delete cluster name of the cluster and you have to give the confirmation yes it will take up to a minute to clean up the cluster and in the meantime if you go to 
the EC2 dashboard, you can see that all these T3 mediums are getting shut down. So that's it about this simple Kubernetes exercise. What we did was we used kubectl and COPS CLI utilities to set up a simple cluster. And on top of that cluster, we installed a simple game application, which is 2048 game. And we played that too. And to access that game application, we also installed a load balancer service. And to install the load balancer as well as the, the game pod, we used two different YAML configuration files. I'll be giving every step of this hands-on exercise in the cheat sheet and the link to the cheat sheet will be available in the description. I'll come back with another useful video soon. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you. Bye.